And when they looked in the cabin, there stood the camp counselor. In one hand, he held an old rusty chainsaw, and in the other, the twisted remains of a human head. No, uh, I am not. <gasps> Good heavens, man! What are you doing? Telling stories round a campfire. What's it look like? You're burning the forest, you imbecile! The plant life in this domosphere provides the only oxygen for the satellite. Oh, lighten up, tree hugger. Fine, suit yourself. I'm a robot. I don't breathe anyway. <laughs> President. He was not only our chunkiest president, he was the only man to serve as both chief executive and chief justice of the Supreme Court. Oh, yeah. What was it true what you said about the human head? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Then. Washington, D.C., 1911. <gasps> Look, there's a Lincoln Memorial! <gasps> and the Washington Monument! <laughs> In the haunted mansion. <laughs> Lives there? He's supposed to. <laughs> Anybody home? Man, this place is creepy. kids doing here? We're a t -t -t time squad. We don't get too many visitors in the White House these days. Where is everybody? Scared off. People are saying the White House is haunted. <laughs> haunted by the ghosts of presidents past. Why, just this morning, the British ambassador claimed that a ghoulish Martin Van Buren chased him out of here, and he had claws like a werewolf. <gasps> Martin Van Buren, America's eighth president? Bizarre! It's a problem. There's an election tomorrow, and not a single candidate will run against me. You're supposed to lose to Woodrow Wilson, America's 28th president. Wilson? <laughs> he won't go near the Democratic ticket. Says he's scared stiff of living in a White House of madness. We gotta convince Wilson to run. I wish you luck. I'd like to win this race, fair and square. I just decided not to run for the presidency, that's all. Cause you're scared? Of course not. I've simply chosen other ways to serve the American people. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Mr. Woodrow Wilson! <laughs> Okay, guys, we gotta find out what's going on around here. Well, I'm not sure if this place is haunted, but it's definitely tacky. Ooh. That's Zachary Taylor, America's 12th president! He 
there's a... there's a... zombie! Get out of the White House! You got that right! Okay, Taff, that's the last time you... It's Benjamin Harrison, America's 23rd president! And I'm a vampire! Blah, blah. I want to suck your blood! Ah! Ah! Quick, in here! Ah, I'm James Buchanan. Job, gang, you nab the monsters. Monsters, my foot! <laughs> what? It was Taft, Sherman, and Knox? <clears throat> yes, and we would have gotten away with it, too, if it wasn't for you meddling time squatters. How'd you guys pull it off? With rubber masks, you idiot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That explains the monsters, but what about the eyeballs and brains? Boiled eggs and dog food. Mm. The story checks out. Oh. 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 We did it, guys! Woodrow Wilson's the 28th president of the United States! And the White House is officially ghost-free. Ha! I knew that place wasn't haunted. <laughs> Get off, Taft. <laughs> 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 
it wasn't me, I swear. Honestly, your puns are getting worse every day. Hey, snore prize is good. Well, we better start looking for Nobel. Guten Morgen. What did you call me? That guy insulted my integrity. You mean when he said, good morning in Swedish? Yeah, well... Oh, uh... Sorry there, buddy. My bad. Wow! You just threw the local bread maker down that well for no reason. Maybe you'd like to join him. No, 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 no. You don't understand. I'm Alfred Nobel, and I think you got what it takes to win my prize. Wait a second. You think Tud Russell could win your Nobel Peace Prize? Peace Prize? No! I'm talking about my Nobel Evil Prize! Past recipients have included Jack the Ripper, the famous stagecoach robber Black Bart, Lizzie Borden, Rasputin the Russian conspirator, and Mrs. O'Leary's cow, the cow who started the Great Chicago Fire. Ooh, that is one evil cow. I'm sorry, Mr. Nobel, but we could never participate in such an evil competition. Yeah, he's right. I'm sworn to uphold the law. It pays one million dollars. One million dollars? Hey, that's for me. Now don't you worry, Mr. Nobel. For a million smackers, I'll do something real evil. And so, Officer Buck Tud Russell, for blowing up the town sewer system with a life-threatening nuclear device, I, Alfred Nobel, give you my annual prize along with one million dollars. Woo! Yeah! Ah! First, I'd like to thank my friends Larry and Otto. I love you guys. And finally to Sheila, my ex-wife. We did it, baby! We did it! Buck, what the heck are you doing? <laughs> uh, uh, honey! Don't you honey me. You're committing a code 656, aren't you? Oh. Uh, no, don't be silly. <laughs> What's a 656? Knowingly participating in activities further perpetrating historical inaccuracies. Well, uh... Hey, what are you two doing here anyway? XJ5 and I were doing a routine checkup on your new best friend, Alfred B. Nobel. <laughs> you two know each other? I'm afraid so. You see, this isn't the first time Mr. Nobel has handed out the wrong type of prize. First, it was a prize for the biggest watermelon, then a prize for the nicest smile. But after a stern citation, he promised to mend his ways and award peace prizes. But apparently, he's still up to his old tricks. No thanks to you, Buck. <laughs> Yes, that's right. I had a little trouble figuring out what I wanted to do with my life. But now I found my true calling to be evil. <laughs> Look out! He's got a board, and it's got a nail in it! <laughs> oh, no, you don't, Nobel. <laughs> Come on, does the solution to every problem have to involve violence with you two? What? Can I at least keep the money? No! And as for you, Nobel... Oh, great. Now where'd he go? Ah, don't worry. I'll find him with my new state-of-the-art thermal sensor. Nice. 
isn't it? Ha! It's not the size of the equipment, it's how you use it. He must be here, in this mansion. So, I see you're still borrowing the orphan. Well, uh, yeah. So? H hello Okay, Nobel. Come on out. There's no use in hiding. Yeah. We just wanna talk! to receive my award, did you? What do you mean? I recognized your Time Squad uniform right away and knew Officer Sternwell and her idiotic robot wouldn't be far behind. Officer Sternwell? Oh, honey. You're not Sheila Tud Russell anymore? Well, after the divorce was final, I took back my maiden name. Oh. Silence! I was prepared this time and believe me, you will be the ones getting your booties kicked this round! Allow me to introduce my associates! Black Bart! Jack the Ripper! Lizzie Borden! Russ Bewton! Mrs. O'Leary's Cow! And finally, yours truly! Boys! Get some! you, or are you going to become peaceful? Never! I'm Alfred Nobel, and I'm evil now, and there's nothing you can do about it! Oh, Mr. Nobel, don't you see? Evil isn't the answer! All evil brings is fear and shame, and in a world that already has its share of villains, 
Wouldn't you rather appeal to the better aspects of human nature? Ow! Look deep inside and I'm sure you will find a good man. A gentleman. A peaceful man. All we're saying is give peace a chance. Oh, you're right. From now on, I will dedicate my award to peace and goodness. <laughs> right, guys? Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, actually, all the rest of you need to stay evil. Well, looks like it's back to cattle rustling for me. Huh, nice going, kid. You've got a good head on your shoulders. Gee, thanks! Yeah, <laughs> he gets that from me. Anyway, try to keep these two out of trouble, huh? Yes, ma'am! Uh, let's just go home. Well, till we meet again. <laughs>